से साधु 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 सो डियर धम्म प्रैक्टिशनर्स इट इज इंपोर्टेंट फॉर अस एज ऑर्डिनरी पीपल टू मेंटेन आवर माइंड अनडिस्टर्ब इट इज नॉट अबाउट मेडिटेशन even in this conventional life to gain some kind of happiness satisfaction comfort for you and for others and as a person yourself personally and as a family as a society as a country as a world as a human being it is very important for you to to use the 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 method to keep your mind more balanced and relax when it come to that in day to day life the mostly one of the the biggest challenge that we have the guilt the guilt is mostly overtake our life in different different conditions in different different ways and uh, as a social being and sometimes from the culture tradition the whatever we learn or even the dharma in spiritual practice we practice this everything to find the peace and happiness and harmony and tranquility state but sometimes what you learn can overtake overturn or sometimes you manipulate it and you misuse it and then what happening what you know start to bring the guilt to you so then that guilt become the hing the a kind of like a hindrance so then you have to be very careful to develop a sharp mind because the highest of this guilt is guilty consciousness and once you have the guilty consciousness it effect for everything whatever to your bodily verbally mentally actions and even to your family a forget about a spiritual level even in the very conventional level of life so then how you get out of the guilt and why this guilt happen is there any way that you can overtake this guilt so when it come to guilt that mostly the guilt happen because of this there is a fact and that that fact can happen as a incident as a information or as anything so there is a fact and there is a idea so once the the fact and the ideas start to have reasoning comparing and resisting arguing rejecting so like that situation as a result of that what's happening the guilt start to come so how the guilt come there is a act and there is a fact and there is a idea so once the ideas start to to reasoning with the fact or the the arguing or comparing or resisting or rejecting then what happening as a result of that the guilt happen and once the guilt happen you take the guilt as a problem so once the guilt become problem then what happening it kind of like a become permanent inside you so then mostly 
what happening we condition ourselves our life with the the way of we thinking we condition our life the way we thinking and once it become permanent and once it become a condition what happening it every day it is start to go go with all ways this pattern reasoning arguing comparing rejecting resisting with the fact when once it become a habit you know and then it become a kind of like a character so once the guilt become a character then the whatever you do in all ways in your mind there is a doubt and there is a fear unsatisfaction worry anxiety depression unbalance so this kind of everything start to come together so the guilt and then it become the it brings the the problem so the problem means uh, something throw into you something you have to face so an unexpected way or even you expected it something come from outside and but it's a create from it's invite from the the inside so then when there is a fact rather than trying to reasoning comparing or arguing rejecting resisting with your ideas why you cannot accept it once you able to accept whatever the fact there is no way that whatever that fact going to become a problem to you because you accept it once the fact not going to become a problem to you and if you able to neutralize your ideas and total acceptance there's no guilt so if you look at the any court cases you know so mostly then the person go and then they what the person they ask are you guilty or not then if you say oh yes so on you know i did this close and but the people don't want to accept even the fact they don't want to accept so why it come to that level when there is something it happens everybody saw it everybody know it and you know it happened and maybe in that condition there are reasons for that why sometimes even something happen within ourselves why we cannot accept it because we have the self centered mind so the self centered mind always separate the the fact from you but you don't see that fact is related to you and you try to separate from you and the, and once you try to separate you from the fact so what is happening whatever that the the ideas that you carry in you you bring up and try to to overtake the fact but we cannot do it but still we keep thinking we we trying you know we keep trying why because it is not just happen on one time this happen eons by eons 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 and you have no idea how old that pattern that you 
you are the self-centered mind is very very old and it is so strong that you don't see it. so that's why that whatever happened even it's a fact we cannot accept it even it is reality even it is ultimate truth we don't want to accept it that's why in the in the vipassana level total acceptance see no any kind of patterns methods completely free empty in that emptiness no kind of like self centered ideas hold total freedom in that total freedom when you accept anything you become free from that so rather than carrying the guilty consciousness or the guilt remember that is very important for you to to get out of it otherwise what is happening when one incident it happened with the one incident maybe as a child something happened and then rather than accepting it why we not accepting it maybe through the culture tradition or maybe some may we learn so that, that's how we we get this otherwise if you are the if you are the first person in the world and you never heard anything from anybody or if you no, never see anything from outside world how people cheating or kind of like that way if you are the first beginner of this world when something happen you accept it you never try to go against with the fact that happened in the ancient time in the ancient time when people did something wrong if other people ask did you do this they accept oh i did this then what happened then they decide okay if somebody do this mistake then you have to get punished so then then later what happened when they made a mistake or when they do something the next time when everyone gathered ask did you do this yes i did okay then you have to punish you have to get the punishment accept the punishment and then the person accept it and then later what time I and how the how people start to tell lies and the next time when they do it in case because of something everyone gathered and asked did you do this and that person say no i didn't do this and then you free oh then person thought oh if i say no i can be free then why i have to say yes because if i say i have to punish if i say no i no need to punish so then people start to tell lies see that's the, so that kind of we learn it from somewhere and as children sometimes and as parents you know you you have no idea how children learns so maybe you think they don't know no they 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 know kind of like a better than your grandma sometimes about you so like that they they observe they learn everything from you and then that they know what happened and they know they didn't accept it and in between that reality and happening there is a reality and the, the being itself there is a unbalance so that unbalance bring the guilt so how you can fix it to fix that what you have to do if you start to accept no matter what whatever the cost if you accept it it become a biggest turning point in your life but mostly and we keep playing this game keep playing this game so in another way that remember that 
when you have the guilty consciousness, what is happening? It leads you to mistakes. Because you are, it effect for your awareness. And when that awareness not become sharper, clear, and what happening, whatever come out of your bodily, verbally, or mentally action, you make mistakes. And the mistake start to invite more problems, more problems. So then the very first thing, remember, the guilty, guilt bring inviting problems. So then to escape from that, whatever the guilt happen, so accept it in another way and start to, to have a new journey. In this very moment, from this very moment, you can move forward. So, so then you develop the clarity. So then you develop the awareness. Then you develop the, the, the trust inside you, integrity. So that way, from this moment to next moment, you become very clear. So that clarity will help you to, to overtake the, the guilt. So if you are able to continue the the duration with that integrity, little by little, little by little, little by little, little by little, it becomes stronger, stronger. Another thing is when it comes to meditation, and once you recognize that how that everything becomes change moment by moment, moment by moment. And that understanding will help you to let go the moment of the experience. Good or bad, both. And in that very moment, you recover. In that recovery moment, become your turning point. But in conventionally, as ordinary person, acceptance is the, the best way. Accept it. And from that moment, you become very clear. So once you accept and it will help you to move forward. So otherwise, if you try to argue and fight and reason, you no know, reject or resist, or, then it becomes something else. So in day-to-day -day life, that have with rather than having this kind of like a conflict, difficulty as an ordinary person to keep your mind clear. So then always remember, it is deeper inside you, the way you recognize your life is very important. So that's why you have to keep your mind clear for you, not for others. Why you have to live for others? No, you have to live for you in the beginning. So for that, you have to develop the clarity for you. And the other thing is that, and we, we all go, have to go through kind of like mistakes, even that whatever we learn today, maybe tomorrow this is not going to work for us. And then from that tomorrow, if we try to compare it, whatever today we do, and then it's going to not work because when you attend to enlightenment, this everything going to become kind of like you know, useless. So then if you if you develop the that guilty consciousness regarding even practicing meditation, and maybe you have to go somewhere and you didn't practice meditation, or maybe you determined yourself, I going to do this, and you you couldn't do it. So then why, why, why you carry it in your mind? Why you keep that burden in, inside you? Because you have to accept it. I, I didn't have time to do it. You know, even somebody asks some money and you, you cannot give you because you don't have. Then you say, I don't have it. That's it. Because you become very clear with it. And you don't develop any kind of mental versions thinking again and again, again and again, and you putting all the thoughts on it and then you develop something. And then what will happen in day to day, whatever you're going to do, then 
it it going to affect for your abilities why because you make mistakes so the another way is so remember one one way to clear the guilt is acceptance total acceptance and another way so this is more more kind of like when you start to practice meditation how the guilt become clear you become more aware regarding the work you do and in that moment what happening the comparison or the arguments or the resistance or rejection are not going to happen so you become total aware or you bring the total attention to whatever you do not whatever happen so that way also you get out of the the guilty consciousness so one is acceptance another one is giving total attention to the present moment of the work so that is what mostly does through the tranquility meditation and another thing this is if this is also in conventional life you you can you 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 can become very successful if you can practice that is get out of the comparison because mostly within day to day life we addicted to compare with everything even you have the all the best things you cannot take it as separately and you cannot appreciate it and you cannot enjoy it you have a disease to compare it is real disease the, imagine the, as a health health wise person uh, even as a you know beauty wise person that you have the beauty you have the health you have the food you have the the house and you everything you have whatever exactly the way you want even sometimes you are the one who created that you know it's a custom made custom made house custom made you know car custom made you know the clothes and everything custom made furniture you know but still you cannot get out of comparison you compare it to somebody even you know someone have you know kind of uh, that the uh, something very little than you and you have the best you know that even still you have that disease while you having the best why you going to compare it to someone have very little minor things see now you can understand how this how this effect for us and that also a reason to have the guilty consciousness and later with something because now you have the disease you you comparing you comparing and that's become one day with one incident maybe you get start to hit with the the fact and reasoning then you start to have the guilty consciousness so then remember one thing is total acceptance and other one is bringing the attention to whatever the work you do and another one is get out of the comparison so the that is the third one that is the bigger uh, one of the big disease that we all have that you no know? and so and get out of it if you can and just be with it whatever and the fourth one this everything happen with the self centered mind or we call the ego centric mind that's where the, the that is where the 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 guilt get nourish so if you able to get out of that's why we go to the vipassana level and deeply observe the the five aggregates what is the what is the ego means what is the self mean self mean your your body and your name and the form is the body and your feelings and your ideas 
and your consciousness. Those are the, the self. Beyond that, there is no something that you can get as self. When this everything mixed together, you, you call the self. And the, the side effects you have as ego. So then, if you can get out of it, that way also you get out of the guilt. Why? Because the, when the guilt comes, the center when the center point becomes I. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. I. So that is where in the vipassana level we go to the bottom five aggregates: form, feeling, sensation, formations, recognition. That is what we are the manifest the, the self. So you go to the depth and recognizing moment by moment, form change. And it develops the unsatisfactory nature and the form selfless. You take one thing, forms or the, the, the physical structure, selfless. That's why from childhood to now, it keeps changing. And then one day, like your grandparents die, your ancestors die, you this, this structure, this body also going to die. And the feeling, the next one, you take that next one. So you observe the feelings and recognizing the feelings arise, change. Not only change, the whatever the, 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 it brings us as satisfaction, that also change. Unsatisfactory nature, moment by moment, moment by moment. And feelings also selfless. That's why it's change. If it is, has a self, then we can hold it. So whatever we feel, but we cannot. So now you recognize that also. So the form, selfless, and the feeling, selfless, sensation. So sensation also when you observe and you recognize, that also according to the feelings, moments by moment, moment by moment, it changes. What is the sensation mean? The duration and the depth of your feelings, sensation. And that also moment by moment, moment by moment change. And they, it also has no self. Formations. Formations means sanskara or the phenomena or the thoughts related to your past, to this moment. And that also moment by moment, moment by moment change. And that's why it, it try to repeat it again and again. We all are try to repeat the life. That's why. If it is not changed, we can hold it to that. Even the moment of thoughts. But it's not going to happen. And so that also selfless. So you get out of that also. And the consciousness, awareness. And the whatever the recognition come to us. And that also moment by moment, moment by moment, change. That's why yesterday you, you learned something, you thought, oh, I learned this, I got it. And the very next day, when you read the next chapter and you recognize, oh, whatever you learned yesterday is not, going, not right. But today, this one is the right. So then see what happened to the consciousness or the awareness that you had yesterday. It changed to this moment. So like that, when you observe deeply, even in tranquility meditation, that now we feel this body-mind, it's very rough feelings. But when it comes to tranquility state, your body, mind, breathing, this everything become equal. You cannot feel the breathing. You, how about your body and mind both come to that level? Just imagine. What are you going to feel? So that kind of softness this inside this. And you feel kind of like, a, you know, 150 or 200 pound, you know, this heavy body like this way. But there is a way you can get out of this. So how about, you never felt that. So how about now what you feel as body? And if you run, you know, 10 days, 
if you exercise 10 days, you know, if you fasting few days, and if you change your, you know, eating patterns few days, what you feel going to change. So that's mean what? What your consciousness going to change? So you can try five days. Completely your life going to change if you change your way, body weight. With you, the way you think. And sometimes, you know, as example, 170 pound, if your body is heavy, you know, and you become a little bit kind of like a tough, you know, holding, aggressive, so like that. So you bring the weight down. And you get, get out of, you know, from 20 pounds, you feel more generous. You feel kind of like a listen to others. You feel like to help others. So like that. You can try it. If you change the, you know, but if you have to keep the balance with your body, you know, according to the weight, according to the height and according to the age, you have to carry the, the necessary, the physical weight in, in day-to-day -day life. But spiritually, when you develop that pattern, you know, what you feel as who you are can change within a few days. So as you know, then that's people, you know, change the, uh, that's uh, kind of like a brainwash people. One of the main thing they do is change the physical pattern, especially terrorists. You know, how they change the, the people's mind. One of the best way, the very first thing they address to their physical pattern, they change their physical structure, the weight, strength. So that effect for their mind. So you are the same. So then why you cannot use this all to become a better person yourself? So you can try a little bit, you know. So that way, once you recognize the self moment by moment change, you get out of the self. And that is the fourth and the best, highest method to get out of the guilt. So four methods. One is total acceptance. In, as a conventional life, that is as ordinary people for us, you know, one of the things total acceptance. Another thing is get out of, you know, crazy, you know, disease comparison, you know. Another one is, so this both in conventionally you can practice. Another two, it develop your spiritual path also. One is completely focus to the attention, tranquility meditation. And the other one is get out of the self-centered mind, vipassana. So, in tranquility, in, in ordinary way, two methods. In a spiritual way, two methods. If you try to practice somehow one of this, master one of this, that will help you to get out of the, the guilt. So otherwise, remember, the guilt is the best friend of the, the problems. And the, it, it affects once the problems come. It affects for your self-confidence. It affects for your self-abilities. And it affects for your spiritual development and even the, conven the this conventional life also. So try to, to, to work in day-to-day -day life and it will help you to have a very comfortable life in this very lifetime. And deeply, it will have, nourish your spiritual path also. So with that, I bless upon everyone with this good practice. May all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana.
सबीतो वर्जंत सब रोगो विनसतु माते भवतंतरायो सुखी दी गायको भव ुण्यकमया